Hello, in this video we're going to look at technical rate of substitution questions. We're going to look at how to find the number of additional inputs needed of one factor when the other input is reduced. Question 1. The technical rate of substitution between factor inputs input 2 and input 1 is minus 3. Suppose that the use of input 1 is reduced by 5 units. How many more units of input 2 will you need to produce the same amount of output? We'll start by defining the technical rate of substitution as minus the marginal product of input 1 divided by the marginal product of input 2. In this problem, we're told that that equals minus 3, the TRS equals minus 3. That means that the ratio of the marginal product of input 1 to input 2 is 3. So we can define the marginal product of input 1 as 3 and the marginal product of input 2 as 1. Okay, maintaining this 3 to 1 ratio. Next thing, we recognize that the change in output, delta Q, the change in output, will equal the marginal product of input 1 times the change in input 1 plus the marginal product of input 2 times the change in input 2. And what we're going to do now is we're going to substitute what we know into this formula. Given that we're producing the same amount of output, the change in Q, the change in output is 0. The marginal product of input 1 is 3. We're told that input 1 is reduced by 5 units, so the change in input 1 is minus 5. The marginal product of input 2 is 1. And now we're just going to solve this for the change in input 2. So moving this 3 times negative 5 over to the other side, we say that the change in input 2 has to go up by 15 units to maintain the same output when input 1 is reduced by 5 units. All right, let's move on to question 2. In question 2, the technical rate of substitution between factor inputs, input 2 and input 1, is minus 2 fifths. Suppose that the use of input 2 is reduced by 4 units. How many more units of input 1 will you need to produce the same amount of output? So as before, we start with the technical rate of substitution as the ratio of minus the marginal product of input 1 to the marginal product of input 2. Here we're told it's minus 2 fifths. So therefore, we can claim that the marginal product of input 1 is 2 and the marginal product of input 2 is 5. Stating this change in output formula here and now substituting what we know. We're producing the same amount of output, so the change in Q, delta Q, is 0. Marginal product of input 1 is 2. Uh, we're trying to figure out how many more units of input 1 we need. And we're told that the marginal product of input 2 here is 5. And input 2 is being reduced by 4 units. So we're going to solve this then for change in x subscript 1. Doing that, uh, after we divide through by 2 here, we get an answer of 10. We have to increase the input usage of input 1 by 10 units to maintain the same amount of output if input 2 is being reduced by 4 units. And let's move on to question 3. In question 3, the marginal product of input 2 is 3. The marginal product of input 1 is 6. Suppose that input 2 is reduced by 4.5 units. How many more units of input 1 will you need to produce the same amount of output? Setting up the technical rate of substitution formula and plugging in our respective marginal products for each input, we get a value here of minus 2. So that'll just simplify down to marginal product of input 1 of 2 and the marginal product of input 2 is 1. Okay, just maintaining that 2 to 1 ratio there. Setting up our formula. Setting the change in Q, the change in output equal to 0, 
and then plugging in the remainder of the results here and now simplifying. We're going to have to increase input 1 by 2.25 units to maintain the same level of output. Okay, that's it.